everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Saturday morning and we are on our way to a little comic sale. I think it's over in one of the pavilions over by near where they live. So it'll be interesting to see the setup. I know it's not super big, but it should be kind of similar to what Joe does, just not at the same scope. So it'll be really interesting to see. It looks like we got some people already here. The pavilion's right over on this side. Oh wow, this is pretty sick. They have like the whole little pavilion there. And it looks like they have someone set up on the side. This is gonna be interesting. Real early right now, about 8 a.m., about 8.30. So, I think there's only a couple other people here. Yeah, let's go see what they got. How's it going? Hello. Morning. How are you? This is like a whole little store over here, huh? <laughs> try, try. It's kind of an experiment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, how was yesterday? <laughs> Well, it was actually pretty good. We didn't do too bad. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. What gave you guys the idea to like kind of just set up here as opposed to like doing a show or something? You were just like do our own thing? Yeah, and well, we were going to just do like a, you know, a yard sale or what have you. And, um, you know, with this pavilion here in the neighborhood, perfect. nobody ever used it. So we're like, why not just use this instead of renting a tent or buying a tent? Ooh, look at that one up there. I just grabbed one of those not too long ago. Some cool Star Wars over here you got. Yeah. I Droids. Oh, the Transformers 1 is cool. What are you guys asking on that? Well, it's a third print, so it's only... Oh, it's a third print? Yeah. How do you tell the difference on the prints on those? Uh, you actually gotta open the cover and look at the bottom. Oh, here it is. This is what we're looking oh, for. The 608. It's still here. Is this from Megacon? Uh, no, it's from New York Comic Con, I believe. Mm. Oh, that's where it's from. But it's, it's the error. It's supposed to be foil. Oh, There's that's only cool. like 200 of those. Very nice copy. Batman 608. He's asking 175. Here's some five dollar books. Solid copy on issue 11. Some four. Tomb Raider. These Transformers are cool. Issue one. Amparella. Some Walking Dead. Wolverine That's issue cool. three. Yeah, Walker number one. This is the variant cover, I think. Yeah, an issue two. Covered Sonya number one. Some X Force, some Uncanny. Always love Uncanny X Men for good prices. Maybe we can find some Wolverine. Oh, is that a? I think this is a Jim Lee cover. Oh, that's a cool thing cover with Rhino. Oh yeah, some Uncanny X Men. Oh, that's a great one for five bucks with a deluxe. Oh, that's a cool, amazing yeah, Spider-Man. One forty-seven. With tarantula? 332. How much is that? 20. Cool um, yellow costume Daredevil on Captain America in here, too. Cool little set. Oh, that's not Daredevil. That's um, oh, that? D-Man. Oh. Oh, that's a great one. 161 $20. for $20. Oh, that one's cool. Black Panther. Pretty early Fantastic Four. Oh, that's a really nice Fantastic Four Issue 104. Four and then there's 105. We have issue 18. Oh, it's cool Ghost Rider. Oh, Ghost Rider 17, Son of Satan. Or 10. That's pretty cool. We got 81. Oh, that's the final issue. Really nice Star Wars here. And then you have the Hans variant on High Republic number one. Oh, what's the error on this? The error variant? There's an error variant? Uh, apparently. It's the regular. I'm not sure. The spawn error. Now I want to look inside all mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on the inside. See the blotching on the ink? Oh. It was a printer error on the spawn number one. Oh, wow. Whereas the regular one, there's no blotches in there. Probably, honestly, about half the print room. Oh, really? Got that special, too. Buy 10 books, get two free, equal or lesser. On even the $5 or? Yeah, any any book except for wall books. Buy 10 books, you get two free. Oh, wow, look at that. Mega deal. Oh, that's a cool one up there. The Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah, the 179. The 179. That's a great cover for $30. And the Daredevils are nice, too. This is a great Frank Miller issue. How much for this one? 15 bucks. Second Frank Miller on Daredevil. 323. Oh, and then they have the Zek. Captain America Annual. Sweet one. 30 bucks. Oh, wow. Look at all. I just realized all the X-Men's, too. First Marauders. New stand on 211. Jim Lee on 268. Omega Red. First appearance. Oh, and you got number five. Oh, and you got the second Four appearance. Four and five. Look at that. That's a nice little set. That's cool for 40. How much is that Wolverine one? Oh, this one? For Frank Miller. 75. Hmm. Well, 
I brought some cash with me, so let's see. I was looking at that at the last show. Mm -hmm. Bundle's the best deal, man. This is a good one, too. I know you were looking at this last time, Sarah. I know, I was looking at that last time. The Marvel Age, asking 20 for that one. I really want to grab this, too. I know, that too. Wolverine you should probably grab. This with the Batman. Yeah, with the Batman. Little Marvel and DC matchup. Yeah. This is a great one, too. I might pick, try to grab this for 15. This is a great one. We actually just got this back from CGC. 60 bucks for the first Kilowog. Super clean copy. All right, and then let me look at this right here. 35 bucks on the Hulk. 345. This one is awesome too. I don't know which one I like better. I always like 344. I, like I know you kind of have to get the pair. Yeah, here. you gotta get it. This I definitely want if we can. Try to work on the 175 a little bit with me. Yeah, that's 75. And then these together are, what does that come out to? 75. Oh, so yeah, 35. it's like the same thing. Yeah, those Maybe are 15. How much thing. is the She-Hulk? 20. So how much is on the table here all together? 360. Yeah, I gave you 300. So 300 oh, bucks snap. for the lot. This right here is the biggest of the books. Yeah, and you've been looking for one for a while. Yeah. Then you got the two McFarlands. Then we got that Daredevil 159 and that cool Marvel H with She-Hulk. It's a hard choice. You guys left a comment down below. What would you do? Would you grab the two Hulks or would you grab the Wolverine number one? Oh man, this is hard. 328. The McFall, yeah. The 344 Hulk, 345 Hulk. I can't keep those either. I sell every one I get. Definitely a nice little trip out here. Wasn't expecting all these great keys. We got 328, 345. You have Marvel Age, 344 of Incredible Hulk, Frank Miller. And then this was the pickup of the day. <laughs> definitely happy with that one i feel like we got a pretty good deal too definitely nice finding some cool mm -hmm. keys i hope you guys enjoyed the video though we're actually on our way right now to pick up some cgc slabs mm -hmm. from lenny over at spineworks so that'll be fun we'll show you guys the haul one more time really quickly batman 608 we got the wolverine number one beautiful frank miller we got the mcfarland's 344 on hulk we got 328 got that marvel age 76 with she hulk and we got that 345 McFarland. We are on our way right now to Lenny to pick up some slabs. Lots of older comic books we're gonna be seeing. I believe it's about seven comics we handed him a couple months ago now, pretty excited. I am aware that there's about two books in the collection that might have restoration, so fingers crossed that they don't come back with any purple labels or anything. After we look through all the books, you'll have to comment down below and let us know what your favorite book out of the lot is. Got the magical box of books. They're excited to see what's inside. <laughs> Now Another you you do remember those books I talked to you about? Yeah. Oh, did I forgot? I was gonna ask you. Did they come back purple? Restored, yeah. You're lucky. Oh, they oh. didn't. Because remember the stuff I found? I was like, mm -hmm. I hope they don't come back restored. You know, they changed the bags. They're so nice now. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're a like lot better quality. quality. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I definitely knew a lot of these we found out of the collections a while ago. This one. Yeah, we've had it for a bit. I've had that one for That's a while. That's still awesome though. In a seven five. I love mm -hmm. how they put the newsstand too now. Oh, oh nine, no way! That's Armor awesome. Wars, Armor Wars. That's the thing. I can't wait to see. Yeah. I'm so happy that Disney decided to make that a movie and not mm -hmm. a TV and not show. A show. Yeah, I think it'll because do better as a movie. I think as a movie. I think it, they could put more money into it. Exactly. Oh, wow, Lenny, yeah. that's killer. This is one of my all time favorites. Oh. Ooh. Two five on the Daredevil was hoping for uh, at least a 3 0, but it's around the same grade range. No it's, purple it's, label. It was well read. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I have the YouTube video where we picked this up. You got the first red costume, Submariner cover. Man, this is a cool one. Off white to white pages, 2.5. Hey, at least that, right? <laughs> Not cream or, or tan. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm really happy for you guys because the grade Ooh. for that age, for Stoke Man. Six, I knew that five. one was. I mean, yeah, this one was nice. A nice one. A 6.5. This one's staying in the PC, too. Now, these were the ones I was concerned about, but, yeah. man, you lucked out. Ooh. 2.5. Yeah. Complete first Adam origin and, and first appearance of Silver Age Adam. And then a 2.0 oh, on my Doctor Strange. So, here's the last one. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, oh whoa. There you go. That's a big one. 8.5. 8.5 five on my 109 too. first appearance of Weapon Alpha. Also known as the Vindicator. Got a nice stack of books over here. Wow, look at that stack. That's and no killer. purple labels. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely a good day picking up these books. We'll give you guys one quick look at all the books we picked up. First one we have here, the showcase. This might be my favorite book of the submission. This 8.5 on the 109 is sick. 
the Doctor Strange 2.0. Like I said, as long as these books came back above like a 1.5, I'm really happy. This Daredevil is yeah, six. that's awesome. The Daredevil eight. Look at that. First Stilt Man 6.5. That's a killer book. And then the 2.5 on the Daredevil 7, a little disappointing. I was hoping for at least a 3.0 to 3.5. I thought it would be a bit on a 3.5, but the 2.5 still, like I said, not a purple label. This at a 9.6 might be one of my favorites too. Direct edition, first full appearance of War Machine. Super iconic cover, the 7.5 newsstand copy. Got another great stack of CGCs back. Really excited with the grades that came back. <laughs> Make sure you comment down below and let us know which book was your favorite. And thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.